Parents, have you ever been told by your pediatrician, don't worry, they'll grow out of it, but at the same time you knew something more was going on and that their constant crying and colic, chronic ear infections, constipation, developmental delays, frequent tantrums and meltdowns are likely signs of a bigger issue going on? If yes, please watch this video in full because we're going to help you find the truth and some answers you should have been told right away, that these kids often do not simply grow out of it in early childhood, but instead they grow into more chronic issues like sensory processing, processing disorder, ADHD, autism spectrum disorders, and anxiety. You'll learn how the most common conditions we see in infants and toddlers continue to show up later on in life, but they're just labeled and diagnosed as something different by the medical system so they can avoid getting to the true root of the cause of what's going on. We're also going to share a story that I love to tell. So I invite you, please share this with other moms and dads and parents who you know need to hear this message. A big, big, big part of our mission is to empower parents, but also to help heal as many kiddos as possible. So spread this word far and wide. You never know who needs to hear it. I want to spend a bit first talking about my buddy Gabe. Now, if you understand, Gabe first came to see us almost four and a half years ago. He was about eight months old for, at that time, what were some torticollis concerns. Fast forward to this past winter and Gabe was back, but now showing signs of autism, delayed speech and communication delays, some hyperactivity, social and emotional regulation or challenges, and even some stimming. So Gabe had experienced some complicating factors in the past that ultimately got him led down the wrong path and one practitioner to the next, and very few answers outside of, well, mom, well, dad, this is just what it is, and this is how you have to live with it. And if you know Gabe's rock star mom and dad, that didn't answer didn't sit too well with them. They are the types of people who are very incredibly strong in their faith and leave no stone unturned when it comes to finding answers for the little boy. They used their mom gut and their dad gut. And Gabe is also one out of four, by the way, there's three more at home. So this is all while that's going on. When Gabe started care five years ago, we simply didn't have nearly as much in-depth training or even the technology to perform the world-class analysis and the scans that we do now. So this time around when Gabe showed up, boy, were we ready to dive in deep and open up his world. Fast forward to today, this has been about a month and a half since I've seen him this time, and this little bugger is speaking full sentences. He will look you in the eye to communicate. He hugs me during and after each visit, holds my hand down the hallway. Even during our scan today, he was able to sit still and process that. Dad said he won't stop eating. Mom is full of tears of joy. And they're beginning to see this little boy that they knew was in Gabe all along finally come to the service and be expressed. And we're just getting started with Gabe. He's going to rock all of our worlds before too long. He's truly one of a kind. But unfortunately, this story we've heard in our practice again and again and again. Parents having their concerns about their child's colic, constipation, chronic ear infections, sensory issues, meltdowns, motor delays, dismissed by their pediatrician and told they're normal or no big deal, but yet that mom gut and that dad gut told them something different. You're right? And while many parents are told by their pediatrician that these kids will just grow out of things like colic, constipation, chronic ear infections, or in Gabe's condition or uh, events, sensory issues, frequent tantrums, meltdowns, if your parent gut tells you something more, something deeper is going on, you're usually right. Right? And we find as PX docs, pediatric experience doctors who dive deep into case histories and the neurology and look to find the root cause of our patient's challenges, we often find that the number one issue linking all of these challenges together is an overstressed and overstimulated sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight response, too much gas pedal, not enough brake pedal. These neurological issues that we as chiropractors call subluxation cause digestive motility to be slowed down. It causes the weakened immune system. It causes neuromuscular tension and coordination that can create motor and developmental delays. So kids do not simply grow out of neurological tension but often instead grow into other neurologically related challenges later on in life. And instead of getting to the root cause of all these conditions in kids, most general practitioners just punt the problem down the road to another provider or specialist. So if you're concerned, this may be the case with your child, with your kiddo, schedule a consultation and examine our office. We will do a scan right away, okay? First, please, any questions, comments, concerns, ask us, direct message us, 
leave a, a comment below. Second, share this information with other parents, families, Facebook groups who need this. You know there's many. And finally, again, give us a call. Schedule to get your kiddos checked and scanned. If this is a concern of yours, odds are we can help.